everything was fine, and then no warning, he just like attacked you, meant business. He can be such a love and a sweetheart, but then you just don't know what can, what can happen. Last trip to the Gabon, I wanted to go and see Queeby. We can't find him. We can't find him. <laughs> um, when did you last see him? I hadn't seen him for five years. I was with Liz Pearson, who's the head of our guerrilla project. But Liz was very concerned who he had attacked the last two people that had come across him. No stranger has been with them for years. But I was really determined to see him. I got in the boat with my brother and we went up and down the river for several hours. And I had this call for the gorillas. Come on, come on then, come on, come on. And I was calling him, turned around the corner and there was this magnificent, now 10 year old gorilla. And you know, he hadn't seen me for five years but he'd heard my voice and he, and he came to the edge of the river. Moss, explain to them to throw food if it kicks off. Mais ça, Moss, c'est chaud. And as I sort of clambered over the top, I was a little concerned. The moment I heard this deep love, rumbling gurgle, I knew then that I was okay. He looked in my eyes with such intensity and such love, and it was an incredible experience, and we just sat there together, sort of drunk on each other. He embraced me like a long lost friend and it was just beautiful and he slowly introduced his wives who came to see me. Did you bring me over a sleeping bag? Yeah. I'm quite now, I'm going to get out of here. And he wouldn't let me go.